Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Sanjit Dej. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe and here I present Weekly Contest 300. The problem that I have chosen right now is number of increasing paths in a grid and the solutions of rest of the questions are mentioned in the description below. So do check them out if you are looking out for them. Let's try and understand the question. The question says we are given a grid of size M cross N and what we need to identify, we need to identify the number of strictly increasing paths in a grid such that the starting point could be any cell and the ending point could be any other cell. What we need to identify, we need to identify the number of strictly increasing paths. So this is very important. And uh, here they have provided us with an example and they have told us the answer would be 8 in this case and they have also showed the all possible paths that lead to the answer 8. And even before jumping onto the details of this question, I would urge you guys to go and look out the video for longest increasing paths which is lead code 329 i have already explained this algorithm in this video so do check this out first i am attaching its link in the description below the current problem is an extension to this one so once you will go through this video 90 percent of the algorithm would be crystal clear here they ask ask us to identify the longest increasing path in a matrix here the, the ask is to identify the sum of all the increasing paths in that matrix and I hope you have gone through that video and now let's shoot for understanding this up. Let's quickly walk through the presentation where I'll talk about the approach in general. So number of paths increasing in a grid, lead code 2238. It's a hard level question on lead code. However, I would like to rate this question under medium category. And in case if you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, Please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated below. Now let's try and understand the crux of the problem. Let's hypothetically assume these are the various values present in the grid v1, v2, v4, v3 and this particular grid has the value v. So if I ask you guys whether the contribution from the upper grid will be taken into consideration for this particular index or not, how can you comment on it? You can only say it will be taken into consideration if V happens to be greater than V1. So if this is case is met, then contribution from upper grid will be taken into consideration. And similarly for the rest of the paths as well. So what other neighbors V has? V2, V3 and V4. So in case V happens to be greater than V2, then contribution from this particular cell will be taken into consideration. If uh, v3 is lower than v then contribution from this particular cell will be taken into consideration and similarly for v4 as well if v is greater than v4 then contribution from this particular cell will be taken into consideration and what will be the final outcome uh, for all these strictly increasing paths ending at this particular coordinate if all this these statements are true then we can say that the contribution would be equal to uh, the contribution from the top cell, the contribution from the bottom cell, the contribution from the right cell and the contribution from the left cell. So let me just write, write R for right and L for left and there will be one more contribution which would be plus one for the default case. And now let's quickly walk through the coding section and I'll be talking about the rest of the algorithm there itself. You yourself will see that the code is exactly the same as longest increasing path in a matrix and it's just few tweaks in that algo. So we have been doing the DFS reversal along a matrix in couple of questions in the past and this is nothing new for us. So let's shoot for creating the memoization array, the mod variable, M and M variable, initialize the DP array. Uh, this uh, ANS will hold the answer value and I start iterating over my grid and my answer would be equal to ANS is equal to ANS plus whatever answer is returned from this helper method DFS of grid i j comma zero. I'll be talking about the parameters over here but remember since we had to identify the sum of all the increasing path that exists in the matrix starting from any index ending at any index so that's the reason we have added all possibilities all the result of all DFS that is returned by these helper methods. Once we are done with this we have the total sum and we cast it into integer format and return it up. The problem reduces to writing this DFS method appropriately. So the first one is a grid which is pretty obvious. Uh, integer i represents the row under consideration, j represents the, the column under consideration and the last one represents the previous value uh, that through which we visited 
uh, in the previous iteration so in case my i j are out of bounds i simply return 0 and this is the interesting case line 23 if my grid at i comma j happens to be less than the previous less than the previous value that means the previous value was greater than or equal to grid value that means it's not a strictly increasing path not a strictly increasing path therefore what do we need to do we need to return zero in those cases otherwise we go and check what value is held in db of i comma j if it has been previously computed we simply return that up otherwise we initialize it the db of i comma j to one because we have identified one such strictly increasing path and what do we do next we iterate over uh, the bottom direction right left and up direction we check uh, dfs of in the appropriate directions i plus 1 j i uh, j plus 1 i minus 1 j i j minus 1 so this is pretty straightforward recursively go in all the four directions we compute the result and dp of i comma j happens to be sum of all these values that we have computed plus the default one w once we have identified it up we simply return this so let's try this up accepted with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question